Alrighty, what's up? So they're apparently talking about uh, banning Airbnb and Tinder in Colombia. Uh, I generally hate content like this where it's headline chasey or whatever. Um, I think it's really dumb. But I know a lot of people that follow my channel uh, because I, the time I spent in Colombia. And I think this is something that's overall indicative of a lot of things that are going on in Colombia and also just the rest of the world. Like this growing trend that I want to get into in this video. But basically, long story short, there there's like a rumor or whatever about this Fico, this guy who, Mayor Medellin, wants to ban short-term rentals in Medellin specifically. And I believe there were also rumors about wanting to ban like applications like Tinder and stuff like that. And the reasoning for this and the justification for this is because there's a lot of exploitation done on the part of foreigners that come to Colombia. And it just seems to me like a very, um, I, 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 I kind of call bullshit on it. There is that, it absolutely happens. I've heard stories, but I think at the end of the day, with the amount of, like you see with gringos or foreigners that are that get killed in, in Colombia, I think it's more often the case that foreigners go there and they end up getting robbed or drugged or killed. I've heard way more of those stories, like way more of those stories than the other side of the coin, which is foreigners going there and exploiting things. And I think it's part of this overall growing trend in Colombia. Uh, I, I saw it during the pandemic where they had uh, this broke out into these protests and at these protests, there were, they had all the hammer and sickle, the communist flag. I think there is like a growing, like a Dostoevskian trend. I know it's like a big word, but if any of you have read some books like The Brothers of Kamazarov or even Crime and Punishment, there's this growing character, this growing trend in Colombia of these uh, people that are resentful towards foreigners. And I think it's something we've seen throughout history in places like Russia or French with the French Revolution, where it's like there's this anti, there's this anti-aristocratic, anti-sentiment of anyone who seems to be doing well better than them and that they are doing, because they're doing well, means that they are taking from us or something like that. And Colombia is a really fucked up country in a lot of ways. There is a growing level of envy almost. To some extent, you can make an argument for it. You have these gringos, they come there. They come a lot of times with a lot of arrogance. And a big part of the reason why the guys go there is because they want to meet girls. And that is a huge driver of tourism there. I don't know how much of a difference that tourism actually makes. I don't know if that actually is big enough of a tourism to actually put a dent in the country. If foreigners going to Colombia is going to actually improve the economy of Colombia, because if that is the case, then you would make the argument that this is maybe, it sounds like they're maybe shooting themselves in the foot by creating this anti-foreigner sentiment. I don't know. I think the economy and stuff like that might be way bigger than just the bros or whatever that are going to places like Medellin. But ironically, with what they're doing, I think it has like the reverse effect where it's one, I think that the people that are being exploited more so are definitely the foreigners that go there. They're way more at risk of being uh, robbed or drugged or killed than no foreigner is gonna go. Very rarely is that ever gonna be the case where a foreigner is gonna go there and do the reverse. Is there exploitation that is done there on, the, on behalf of some people? There's definitely some of that occurs, but <laughs> it's, it's getting progressively easier to turn the finger on, uh, oh, the foreigner that's there. Uh, for example, with all of my videos, I don't have a really big channel, but with even my channel, my small channel, the, the number one hate comment that I get on my channel is almost always like a racially based thing. It's, oh, you're this white guy in Colombia, you're colonizer and pushing these stereotypes and you're gentrifying the place and all that stuff. And it's all like hateful and, and racist and, and negative. And, and whereas it's not the same thing in the reverse. And this is getting on a tangent, but a lot of people make the argument, for example, that, oh, you're a foreigner in Colombia. So it's the same as all these foreigners that are wanting to go to that are in the United States. It's the same thing. You're doing the same thing. You're there and they're there. But, the, and this is the fallacy that I think is the same thing that you see with this trend of wanting to, for example, ban Airbnb, is that it's not the same thing. The pain inflicted is not proportionate. The people, the, the foreigners that go to Colombia are at way more risk than the natives there. Like, sure, maybe prices and stuff like that can go up and you can get very resentful about that. 
but they're not put in physical danger by the presence of gringos from California or whatever. <laughs> and the other argument where it's like, oh, you're a foreigner there, you should have the same respect for, for example, like illegal immigrants that go to the United States. And again, it's not the same thing because when foreigners go to Colombia, they're not taking advantage of a, of a welfare system. If I don't, I've never really gotten medical care in Colombia, so I don't really know how that works or anything like that. But it's like when foreigners go, for example, to Colombia, most likely they're, they're paying a percentage on top of whatever the actual prices are to begin with. So they're, they're bringing some dollars into the economy. And at the very least, they're not doing much harm, aside from maybe some prices that are going up in certain gentrified areas. But in the reverse, it's like when you have illegal immigrants, for example, that are coming to the United States, they are committing crimes, they are making the place more dangerous, they are using the welfare system. You just see it proportionately. Crimes going up in the United States. When they go there, they're not contributing. They're not contributing to the society. They're, in fact, hurting the society in a lot of ways. Diversity is not our strength. But anyways, I don't want to keep going on about that. And it honestly creates the reverse dynamic. If they're really worried about exploitation in Colombia, them putting this target on the backs of foreigners, which is only going to increase. Now, if you go to Colombia, they're going to assume that you're one of these like kind of predatory people a lot of times. So it's like you can't even go to Colombia, particularly as a guy. And for people not to almost have this, especially the Colombians, have this stereotype of you that, you know, you're this type of person. And it's like it honestly creates a reverse things because guys, the fucked up people that were going there and exploiting the country and doing stuff like that with prostitution or whatever. First off, the Colombians do that themselves at a way higher rate. That stuff has always been there. And most likely those guys, they were getting away with it when the spotlight wasn't on them. Now it's like Colombia is so gentrified that those people, they feel like they can't get away with it. it, it it's ironic to where you get to the point with Medellin where now you have all these like super, I'm trying to think of a, of a way to say it, these, these like kind of bohemian foreigners who are like going there. And now you have dudes like there's all these like digital nomad groups, like the Bali crowd. I guess that's the best way to put it. Like the people, like the stereotypes of what you see in the Bali digital nomad, just basking in the sun, practicing semen retention, <laughs> you know, like those types of like biohacking dudes and women, they are, but anyways, I went off on a tangent there. I wanted to make this video because I think that it's an interesting topic and I think it's part of a larger overall trend of one kind of an anti-Westerner sentiment, like this idea of imperialism, that we go to places where neo-colonialism or neo-imperialism, I think as it's called, by your very existence in another country, you are, you are partaking in an act of imperialism or colonialism. And a lot of the comments I get sometimes on my channel are like, oh, you're like this white colonizer or something like that. And I just always think, wow. <laughs> like, I think the conquistadors and stuff like that are pretty cool, but that's a video for another day. Anyways, thank you very much for watching this video. I know not a lot of you are gonna agree with me. There is a lot of fucked up things done in Colombia. And honestly, I will agree with a lot of people in the sense that like those people a lot of the foreigners there I find to be quite annoying and which is why I always try to go places where I can be as far away from them as possible and just gonna be as in much of a kind of a natural place I guess you could say as much as possible but we're gonna see what happens anyways thank you for watching this video leave a comment down below and and argue down there thank you peace